Okay, here we go. Want to welcome everybody to uh, Real Time with Carl Toady. Those of you on Periscope, uh, remember we're also live on Facebook. And man, hope your day's off to a great start. Uh, I hope uh, some of the things I'm going to be sharing with you uh, for the next five minutes uh, maybe causes you to think and uh, go a little bit uh, go a little bit deeper in uh, some of the things maybe you've been contemplating. Hey. Uh, should uh, we ever hate? Is there is hate? When is hate good? Uh, you know the Bible says in Ecclesiastes three one it says there's a time and a season for everything under heaven. And then in verse eight of Ecclesiastes it says there's a time to love and there's a time to hate. So when is it okay to hate? I mean, <clears throat> I mean some of us hate broccoli, right? Uh, some of us uh, hate liver. Uh, some of us hate being in traffic, right? Um, I know I hate being on the middle seat in a Southwest Airlines flight. I hate being in that middle seat. Uh, of course, uh, the Bible does say that there are some things that we should, should hate, that you really can't love unless at the same time there's something that you hate. So get this, the Bible says that we should we should hate sin. We should hate evil. We should hate bribes. Uh, the Bible says we should hate idolatry. Uh, the Bible says we should hate murder, uh, the shedding of innocent blood. The Bible says we should hate arrogant, perverted speech. The Bible says that we should hate sexual immorality, right? Basically, we should hate sin. Now, stay with me. In Proverbs chapter 6, it says there are six things, get that, six things that the Lord hates. No, seven are an abomination to him. Uh, he hates haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that plots evil, feet that race to do wrong, a false witness who pours out lies. And it says that he hates the person who sow, sows discord in a family. There are some other things that God hates. God hates divorce in Malachi 2.16. And the reason he hates divorce is because he knows how detrimental it is and how harmful it is to society, uh, to children, uh, a lot of collateral damage, and, and how it hurts the individual. Um, now, hatred in the Bible is not an emotion. It's not as though when God says he hates these things that he has these feelings of animosity. So you have to separate our human understanding of, of hatred. But, but hang with me, hang with me. In the world of psychology, we're instructed to hate because if, if we can't hate, someone that doesn't hate is classified as a sociopath, right? Because a sociopath will commit evil things, do evil things, and feel no remorse for, for what they've done. So if we hate evil, if we don't hate evil, then we, can, we will tolerate or even enjoy uh, witnessing evil when people commit evil, perform evil. See, one of the things we should hate is we should hate terrorism, right? Uh, we should hate the fact that an evil person entered into a nightclub in Orlando and killed 49 fellow Americans, right? We should hate terrorism. Uh, we should hate people that, that promote and do acts of horrendous evil. And here's the deal. We have to make sure that we don't become desensitized, right? Uh, we live in a society that, that, that we become desensitized to evil and acts of evil to where if we're not careful, we come to a place where we begin to tolerate it, we begin to accept it, we begin to rationalize it, we begin to explain it. Now, there are some things we should never hate. Listen to me now. There's some things we should, ne you should never hate yourself, right? Uh, you should never hate God, period. We should never hate God. Uh, we should never hate our neighbor. Leviticus 19.17 says that we're to love our neighbor. Jesus commanded us to love our neighbor. So we can hate the sin that someone may commit, but we don't hate that person. Uh, and then we have to be aware that we don't celebrate that we don't celebrate the things that God hates, the things that God loathes, the things that God detests. You know, the funny thing, man, in our society today, most, form, most forms of entertainment 
they celebrate the very things that God hates. And if we're not careful, if we celebrate what the world celebrates, we could become desensitized. You see, at the end of the day, if we're going to be a Christ follower, we should love the things that God loves, and we should hate the things that God hates. And you really don't love, and you really can't love, if at the same time, you don't hate the things that would destroy love or hurt love. Here's what I know. There are things that God hates. He hates the evil. He hates the sin. He hates the wickedness that's in our world. But because of Jesus, we know that God loves the world. And he loves people to come to the knowledge of the truth of who he is and who Christ is. And when the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the power of the Holy Spirit, we could actually begin to love. We can begin to love God. We can begin to love others. We can begin to love ourselves. But we will always hate the things. We'll always hate the things that will destroy the things we love. Hey, just a thought. Ecclesiastes says there's a time to love, there's a time to hate. I hope that we have loathsome feelings towards evil and evil being perpetrated in our society today. Anyway, I want you to know I love you and I hope you have an awesome rest of the day. This is Carl Toady signing out.